Okay, Colin has been driving me nuts because he wants to learn how to make CD labels and he doesn't want to use Photoshop because he's cheap and he doesn't know Photoshop either. So there's two reasons why he doesn't want to use Photoshop. So he wanted to know, is there a free way to create CD labels and actually how do you do it? So I'm going to show you how to do that in a software program called Aviary. It's um, actually at aviary.com. So again, it's another cloud-based application, I guess. Um, and um, what you do have to do with Aviary is you do have to become a member. So you do have to sign in, but it's free. And you get down here, you can see you get an image editor, music creator, audio editor, screen capture, vector editor, and uh, image markup. I'm going to use the image editor. You could also use the vector editor, I guess. But since he was talking about Photoshop, I'm going to stick with the more Photoshop-like program. And image editor is going to open up in a uh, a brand new window. So if you watch my splashup.com uh, video, it did the same, basically the same thing. But um, I found that Aviary is actually a little bit better. So if you did watch that splashup.com uh, video that we did earlier, you can still use that, or you can actually use Aviary as well. So you might want to consider that. So um, a window comes up that asks you if you want to start from scratch or load an existing file. I'm going to start from scratch and uh, then it asks you your image size. Well, for um, this, for since we're making CD labels, I'm actually going to be bringing in a template. And the template has its own dimensions. So it really doesn't matter what size we pick for this. Um, so I'm just going to leave it at the default and click back. Uh, excuse me, and click net create. Why did I say back? All right, so we have a, uh, a document here. And let me show you the rest of the interface. Up at the top, it has your uh, menu bar here and your tools just like Photoshop and your uh, color palette and then on the right you also have your um, layers okay so since we're, I said we're going to be bringing in a template we have to go to file and import file and um, a create a file to upload box pops up at the top and so you just click browse and you find your file let's see here Okay, I'm uploading my file now, and it's importing, so Aviary is uploading it to its server. And then it asks you, uh, the image is bigger than the current canvas, what do you want to do? I want to keep the image at the size that the image is, so I'm going to click Resize Canvas. And there we go, we have our um, CD label template that I got from DiscMakers.com, feel free to use them, they are great. Um, and they, they have it for free on their site. Um, they also do good printing and duplication. Um, all, and, uh, or we also have the link available to you on our site as well if you want to uh, download that. It's, a, it's just a JPEG and uh, this is all you need to do. You um, bring in, you import your image and then we, uh, gra if you want to grab some text on your CD, you uh, go to the text tool here, it looks like an A and you can uh, this shows you the properties I just like to click up anywhere in this disk area here and I'm going to just type my CD CDD my CD then I'm going to highlight it I want to make it a bit bigger so I'm going to use a slider bar here and you have to release the mouse to see what happens and that's that's okay uh, then you close it and you I'm going to grab my move tool and I'm going to grab my CD title here and I'm just going to line it right up here. Okay, there we go. We got that. And um, let's say it's a little bit too zoomed in, so we're going to have to zoom out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click down on the last layer, the background layer, and that allows you to zoom in or zoom out. So I'm going to zoom out a little bit. There we go. So now you can see. There's my CD label. Now let's talk about this label really quick. Um, we have the dotted line and then we actually have this solid uh, blue line. Well the solid blue line is the edge of your disk. Um, and so what they're suggesting with this dotted line is to keep all of your artwork and your text and everything within this dotted line just in case because they don't want it to get printed or cut off or anything like that. Um, so let's say we want to add an image to this CD. Uh, no problem, I'll go up to file again, import file, and sometimes it's a little tricky with my mouse. Okay. 
and I'm going to click browse again and let's find a good image here uh, let's just do Selmaton let's do the Orlando product of Tom's and click upload file and it must be a larger image because it's taking a little bit longer to load okay I'm just going to um, I'm going to resize the image this time because I don't want to mess up my CD image. Um, okay, so there's Tom's product. It's a little large, uh, so we're going to have to make it smaller. No problem. I'm going to click the transformation tool. It looks like an arrow with a plus. And I want the one with the arrow and the plus. And it gives me a little um, bounding box around my image that I can grab a corner and click on the corner while holding down the shift key and then I can resize it larger smaller and then you can also move it okay so if you wanted to put artwork on your CD you could do it that way now what do you do when you're done this uh, this is a, a pretty bad example but let's just pretend that I'm done and I'm gonna sell a million of these this fantastic CD well what you have to do is um, you have oh, well after the transform tool it's gonna ask you do you want to apply the changes the size and yes I do okay so I went back to my move tool here. Uh, all we have to do is we got to go to file and save as. Okay, so we're going to tell it how we want it saved. And what you do with this um, template, I know it looks square right now, but that's fine because whatever uh, duplicator or whatever printer you send this file to, it's the correct size and it's. Um, It'll just the printer is uh, smart enough to know that it's you know it's going to only do the rounded part. So it doesn't matter that this whole image is um, is square, okay? And I guess my save as window didn't open up. There we go. Okay, so it gives you the op options to create a title, um, permissions, and license. I'm not going to mess with that, any of that, but you would want to do this if you wanted to put this on the web. And um, I, then over on the right it says save as new creation or you can cancel I'm gonna click save as oh it needs a title because we're saving it okay so I'm gonna do my CD and save as and here is our image here is the URL for it you can copy it you can also copy the editor, the image URL, all this. It gives you all of this, um, all of these options. You can also make it publishable on Aviary so other people can see what you created. Now, what if we wanted to save this to the computer? Well, let's continue working on the creation, and I'm going to click File, Export Image, and uh, an export image box pops up and it asks what uh, format. I'm going to pick JPEG. Most printers want JPEG. So other ones want different, so you might you have to find out. And then I'm going to click uh, Generate Image. And they are preparing to do it. So what they're going to do is they're going to prepare the image. And then all I have to do is click Download. And it will download to where I put it. So um, there you go. That's how to make a CD label. Be sure to get the actual file from us or go to DiscMakers.com. Um, and check them out. They are great.